Thank you. A couple months ago, I was in the cutest, tiniest little ice cream shop in Santa Cruz. And you walked in through one door, and there was enough room to stand in line at the counter. And when you got your ice cream, you left through another door. So I get my scoop of rum raisin ice cream, and I'm very focused on this. I was really excited about it. And without looking, I turn around and I swing the door open. And I hear a clatter. And looking up, I see a cane, a white cane on the ground. And I realize that in my haste to get out of the ice cream shop, I've knocked the cane out of a blind man's hand. Have you ever said exactly the wrong thing? And like knew it as the words were coming out of your mouth, but felt unable to stop it. I turned to him and I said, I'm so sorry I didn't see you there. <laughs> <laughs> I was mortified. <gasps> see you too. Man, you can't see anything. And without losing a beat, he replied, that's okay, I didn't see you either. <laughs> <laughs> and we laughed. And later I reflected that because in this situation where somebody easily could have been angry or irritated or even offended by my thoughtless comment, we laughed. And because of his sense of humor, I felt better about the situation. And my suspicion is, is that he felt better about it too. Because a sense of humor and laughing are great tools for coping with life's daily stresses. Laughter has been shown to decrease levels of cortisol and epinephrine in the system, and those are hormones that the body is, are, is producing when it's under stress. So the next time you've had a really long day at work, instead of reaching for that glass of wine or beer or maybe an unhealthy snack, maybe your New Year's resolution could be to reach for a comedy so that you can laugh instead, because it's probably better for your body. Laughing has been shown to help the immune system and actually increases the number of white blood cells that's, that are going on in your system. So in America, we have a saying, an uh, apple a day keeps the doctor away. But maybe we should change it to a belly laugh a day keeps the doctor away. But raise your hand if you like to laugh. What are some of the benefits you've noticed in your own life? They might be ben uh, mental benefits, social, emotional benefits, when you've approached something with a sense of humor and some laughter. Kind of balance out the, the situation. It's not so stressful anymore. It's kind of a release for me. Yeah, absolutely. It's great for diffusing conflict. Something's coming up. Fear Whatever. goes away. Fear goes away. Great. Stress goes away. Stress. It can totally change your perspective and your mood because you're, you've changed your focus. You're you know, no longer worried on these things that were bothering you. Anything else? Lightens you up. Absolutely. It lightens you up, improves your mood. It's great for team building and bonding, attracts people to you. So can we all agree that laughter and having a sense of humor are great tools for us for improving the quality of our life? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. It's not always easy, though, to find that sense of humor, especially when things are going on. So I have three strategies to help you. Strategy number one is to just smile. Smiling alone has been shown to increase the endorphins that are going on in your system. Endorphins make you feel better, make you feel happier. And a laugh can't start until you've smiled. And so if you're not ready to smile yet, or if you're not ready to laugh yet, just start with smiling and see where that takes you. Strategy number two is to imagine telling the story later, but in order to get a laugh. So for example, you might be at work and you've already got a stack of stuff on your desk to do and your boss comes in and puts some more paperwork on there. You can imagine yourself in an I Love Lucy scenario. Do you remember the one where she's at the assembly line and wrapping the chocolate and she's running out there and she's stuffing the chocolate down her shirt and in her hat. Well, you can imagine yourself taking all of this extra paperwork and, you know, shoving it in your briefcase and down your shirt and it's sticking out your sleeves and down the back. <laughs> or maybe you've been running errands on your lunch break. You've already gotten your hair cut and now you're standing in line at the bank. And this line has not moved in 10 minutes. Have you ever been there? You can imagine telling your spouse when you get home that you stood in line so long, you had to get another haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Strategy number three is to laugh anyways. Dr. Kataria of Bangalore, India, believes that the body cannot tell the difference between real laughter 
and fake laughter. And so he's denied <laughs> laughter yoga clubs. And there are now 6,000 of these clubs all across the world. And they start with exercises to get you laughing. And he says that the fake laughter turns into real laughter. When I first moved to New York City, I got a job at a new, uh, New York women's, Jewish women's education center. And after I was working there for a couple of weeks, my coworker said something to me. And I look at her with a complete and utter look of confusion on my face. And I was like, I have no idea what you just said to me. And she looks back at me and now she's wondering, well, you don't speak Yiddish. <laughs> no, but Yiddish. And she's really confused. I can see it on her face. She goes, aren't you Jewish? Now, I grew up in a small town in Colorado. Very little diversity. Honestly, I don't even know if I met a Jewish person growing up. <laughs> and I certainly didn't know why she would think I was Jewish. But she looks at me, she says, well, how did you get a name like Lipinski and a nose like that and not be Jewish? <laughs> <laughs> now, I could have been offended. I could have been like, well, I have a big nose. What are you saying? I have a big nose. And we would have had some stress enter into our work relationship. I could have gotten really insecure. I could have said, oh my god, I have a big nose. I didn't know how to big nose. <laughs> and that would have been bad for my mental health. So instead, I just smiled. I imagined how funny the story was going to be when I told it later. And I just said, sometimes you just get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope that you find these three tools helpful. Smile, imagine telling the story to get a laugh, and laugh anyways will help you find your sense of humor when the going gets tough. Thank <laughs> you.